Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll begin with the parable. There were three friends, Stephen, John, and Bart. You can forget about their names, but they're just three friends. One of them looks on the map. They are in, in the Ukraine, or let's say Ukraine, and they're there on holiday, and they're remaining at a campsite. One of the dudes realizes that, hold on a minute, there used to be a nuclear, nuclear plant around here. So he looks for it on Google Maps and he goes to it. It's just a few kilometers away. And he figured out that there was still power being generated at the nuclear plant, even though it, there was a, a hatch around the property and nobody was there. He, it was a weird scene, but there was still electricity being generated. So he found a way to get electricity for free. And so he, so he went to the nuclear site every day to charge his, sometimes his batteries. He told his two buddies about it and they began to do the same thing. The three friends returned home. Let's say they live in Canada. When they're in Canada, one of them has to go to the hospital. What has happened? He was contaminated by the radiation. And because the hospital realized that it was contagious, it would affect other people, they had to put them in quarantine. They had to put them, they had to separate them from the population. What has happened here? There was a nuclear plant with power, and there was power still. And indeed, he could use the power freely. But there was, there was, um, I would say, there was nuclear contamination around the nuclear plant. There was, I say, there was radiation around. He did not consider the radiation. If he wanted to enter the property, he should have put on a special suit so he wouldn't be affected by the radiation. But he totally forgot about it. He was so into the the free energy source that he had. And this is a parable. Now, replace the nuclear plant with a believer who walks by faith. Replace the free energy with supernatural strength that comes from the believer. And replace radiation with the negative wills that come against a believer for walking by faith. Just like when Christ walked the earth, there was this woman that had, had an issue of blood and she only touched the, the robe of Christ and she, power was withdrawn from Christ and she was healed. In a similar way, believers are like power plants. We carry power with us. And folks are affected by that power. And if they are smart, they can even withdraw power from us without us even being aware of it. But here's the catch. There is resistance, there's violence against the power we carry with us. That's the radiation. So, just like this, just like these um, guys, they went to the nuclear plants to get free electricity. They encountered the radiation, but they were not protected. In the same way, anyone that does not walk by faith, that remains long around someone that does walk by faith, will also sense the radiation against the believer. They'll also receive some of the violence that comes against the believer. They may even have people turning on them because they're associated with the believer. I'm telling you, that is why believer, I'm talking those that walk by faith now, that is why there are times certain people just don't want anything to do with you anymore. Why? Because they encounter the radiation, but they, don't, they, they have no interest in knowing what's going on. They just associate the radiation with you, as if the radiation comes from you. It can be that you used to be very good buddies with someone, and you left good comments on the social media when they, as, let's say someone makes art, and or someone produces music, and you leave good comments on someone's uh, profile. And the individual appreciated it, but after a while, 
some of the people in his friend list were a bit um, jealous on and I'm a bit envious on him, saw you leaving good comments and, pro and um, supporting him. So now they became upset. But instead of acknowledging their own error, they now turned on that guy that you were supporting. And here's the thing. That guy now that you were supporting now thinks that it's because of your support that those people turned on them. But here's the thing. Those people were in the negative already. It was because that guy received support from you that the negative of those people was triggered. And now that because those people have no direct acts to you, they turned on that guy. So that's why that guy that you support now has cut you off. What happened? He received power for free from you. Okay, that's a blessing. But the retaliation that comes against you, he also affected him. He was not prepared for that. So now he thinks you're the one causing him trouble. Understand, believer, there are times, not there are times, this often happens, but there are times people will recognize that there is a lot of contention against you and they will back off. Because first of all, they're not protected because they're not operating in the supernatural. Secondly, most of them have no interest in seeking for protection, just wants to be relieved. Well, if they want to be relieved, and they choose to depart from you, let them depart. If, not, they're, if they're not willing to be wise and look for protection themselves in Christ, then let them leave. Well, that's it for now. Agree with Christ and be at peace.